Darkest Hour in 3D. After a business deal that doesn't quite go as it should, Ben and Sean are two Americans without a clear plan in Moscow. They are already set to go to a party at a great nightclub that evening, so they go to that nightclub, where they meet two other Western Europeans, Natalie and Anne. And being that Sean is a bit of a never-do-well, Natalie doesn't exactly take a shining to him. Ben is the more level-headed one, and finally we have Anne, who is a very social girl. Or Natalie's perhaps a bit more cautious. Unexpectedly, the... Well, whoever actually does expect, Aliens invade, and after spending a week in, I guess, a basement, they emerge and start trying to figure out how to get out of the situation in a utterly abandoned Moscow with you know nothing it's it's very post apocalyptic seeming and basically the rest of the movie is them trying to you know get out of Moscow or at least just get some think of some way to get past these not only aliens, not only deadly to the touch aliens, but invisible deadly to the touch aliens who can't be killed just by bullets. The, the following is not a spoiler. The trailer gives it away and it's revealed pretty early on in the movie. The aliens are, you know, they can be spotted by the fact that they, you know, their electrical nature starts electrical circuitry back up, you know. And so our heroes find some, you know, light bulbs and try to make their way and just hide from them. And yeah, survive. The trailer filled me with hope. It seemed to not be an action movie or, you know, just a um, straight-out sci-fi piece, but a proper tension-filled thriller. And the film actually really delivers on that. There is almost nothing where it really betrays this. I would say that the climax does get to be a bit... I don't know, it's, it just it feels a bit forced. Not the overall scenario, but just the very peak of the climax. It really feels like they just had to get a scene like that in there and... yeah. That's really one of the only things, though. Other than that, the film is extremely tense. From right when, you know, this begins, right when the aliens are introduced pretty early on, and throughout, there is some humor to keep it from being too bleak, but the balance is never shifted too much in spite of, you know, at least one quite quirky character, it's always very focused on these people trying to survive. The, the aliens turning 
uh, again, this is in the trailer, turning people into ash is used really well. It basically when you know our survivors are roaming the streets trying to you know well trying to get to the US embassy in order to find some help to get somewhere they come across just a lot of ash scattered all over the streets you know and empty cars with the car doors open and it is infinitely more effective than actually seeing piles of bodies because that would that would be more shocking and kind of just in bad taste it wouldn't feel instead with the ash it feels like it, it has a very post-apocalyptic feel to it it feels like we are gone we are no longer you know there humanity has almost been wiped out and it wasn't even just a second ago it was ages ago it there's almost nothing of us left in a way you know bodies would actually mean that oh it was just you know it was a couple of days ago but no it there's almost nothing left the the 3d is also part of this with the atmosphere it just really really puts you there right with these this band of survivors and it doesn't actually really show off the 3D it never really shoves anything at the camera or such and in general it's not that visual of a film it's not bad looking it's definitely well made but it doesn't it's not flashy you know it's more about putting you in it's it's about building atmosphere and maintaining that atmosphere and it does so marvelously there are some great visual you know there are some really great sights but usually these help tell the story or they help establish something such as early on we see just the utterly massive amount of aliens landing and this is just stunning it's a breathtaking shot but it's not just that it's also just telling us we're screwed you know there is next to no chance that we're gonna you know be able to actually defeat all these just looking at how much trouble we're having with just you know a single one usually in the movie when you know when our heroes are being chased or stalked or such it seems like there's just one and that's that's exactly how it should be done because you don't need a ton of really scary things you can do with just one if it's scary enough and here it really is we have a bunch of POV shots I was slightly worried about these but it actually works really well it has a sort of again stalkery Michael Myers kind of thing to it it's really great the characters are quite good slightly stereotypical but they do have personality and something I was surprised at you don't actually hate anyone no one is genuinely and thoroughly obnoxious there are character traits that you find yourself not liking and there might be at least one character that you find yourself not particularly liking but you can still look at them and say well it is a human being you know that character is not just made to fill some negative stereotype of you know the and it also it's interesting how much the characters change once the you know once the aliens appear and once everything seems to go south it really you know everyone reacts to that differently of our main cast and we actually do get the, properly introduced to them before that happens you know the film spends 
about 10-15 minutes before the first sight of the aliens at all. And, you know, we actually get to like our characters, played by Emil Hirsch and others. I had kind of expected from the trailer, that was my main fear, that they would be kind of obnoxious, you know, party animals. That's really not particularly the case, you know. There is, early on, there is a party scene, and it is, you know, there is some obnoxious, you know, getting drunk and kind of behavior, but it also just, it sets up the relationships between these characters, and we get to know these characters. There, there's actually almost nothing gratuitous in the entire film. The dialogue is quite good, like the characters, it's credible and just never really feels like... It's, it's never too negative or too... you know, never too much to one side or the other. The acting is quite good, there's really no downright bad performances, although I would say there are occasional bad notes to the performances, but nothing, you know, terribly, nothing really bad. The... The film is quite surprising. Uh, th there are several things that I really did not see coming at all. It... And, you know, there... It, it really keeps to... It, it takes the consequence of these extremely powerful aliens that are introduced, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. It's really well paced. The, you know, you're never bored and it never seems to linger on something for too long. It's always moving. Near the end, it does get to be, you know, it, it goes on for a little longer than it maybe absolutely needed to, and it gets pretty Hollywood. It is, at points, very much a mainstream Hollywood movie, but it's a really good one. It's, you know, it's not a pure popcorn flick, I would say. It does have some of the aspects, you know, there's the we're learning a lesson kind of thing, there's, you know, big speeches, there's the moments that just really, you know, set things apart and stuff like that. But overall, it's, you know, it's one of the most tense mainstream movies I've seen in a long time in recent years. I would actually go so far as to say that, I, I usually say that the flashbacks in the original Terminator should never be made into an entire movie, because while those work extremely well as just those few flashbacks, if you have an entire movie where it's supposed to be that tense and that sort of thing, it just wouldn't work quite as well. I would like to alter that statement slightly. It would not work as an action movie. It would not work as a Terminator movie. Not as, you know, in the direction that they've been going, you know, as of... I suppose even the first one had a lot of action, but anyway, that's a different discussion. This movie actually very much... almost is that movie, you know, the entire movie that is like the flashbacks of the Terminator. You just, you feel like the battle has practically already been lost. These people are just having to fight as hard as they can just to stay alive. And, you know, it's just extremely tense. And, you know, you almost can't imagine that they'll actually be able to get through it all. The effects are great. And the film maintains the mystery for really long. I would say that once, you know, near, 
the end, some of the mystery is lost, or near the halfway point at least. And that is slightly unfortunate, I would say, but all in all, definitely a movie that is worth watching. If, you know, don't go in expecting an action movie. It is a thriller. It is, yeah, just glued to the chair, kind of just, yeah. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.